What's the word, YouTube? We are back. It's your boy Gangland Neem, aka Neeman. I before the E. Golly, I don't know y'all. And we back with another reaction. So um today we about to get into um Adam 22 and Trail once again. Back and forth beef, pod wars, if you may. Um but I will say I think Adam is treading very deep waters, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Um so basically some paperwork or something came out saying that trail filed for bankruptcy, which a lot of folks do for uh, uh, a plethora, a plethora of reasons. People um, file chapter 11. So, you know, it is what it is, but we're going to get into that later too, because he explains that. But um, the paperwork came out, somebody dropped it. They did all the reading, all this, that, and the other. And this is what Adam 22 had to say. He's always got something to say, and it's just like, man, bro, if somebody catch you and baby snaps Sally. Nelly, everybody hitting me up. Everybody's saying today's my day. It's time to go Oppenheimer. That means going nuclear on the ops. But here's the problem. Like, I don't even like how he talk. Like, don't even say ops, bro. Like, you really don't have no ops, like, unless it's like some, like, Blue Bloods or something like that. Ain't your last name like Grand Mason? Like you have no ops. You have no ops, bro. Relax. I got a good heart. And I hate to see somebody down. And I hate to rub dirt in somebody's wounds. So I'm gonna give them a chance to live. You know? I could easily make 10 million jokes. Do all kinds of content. Start a financial literacy program. Name it after y'all. Like, if this already isn't the content that you know people going to travel with and do their thing with, like, come on, bro. This is what I mean about, bro. Help out the youth. I'm not going to do that, though. I'm a chill. I'm a chill. But. By the way, y'all probably noticed the background is different. I'm not in gangland. I'm out here in Palm Springs. They talk about a hurricane was about to come. Talking about, um. 80 mile per hour winds out here and all type of shit. They say hurricane. I told them niggas, Shlurricane, cause we don't give a fuck. We still turning up. If anybody disrespects me tonight, then you, the people, are gonna witness the greatest show on earth. And I am not talking about that motherfucking circus. Yo. <clears throat> Nigga, these threats. Nigga, these threats. Nigga, I'm serious about mine. Nigga, I'm so sincere. That's how I ain't gonna hold you. That's how I feel. Adam coming. He like, got play. You wanna play with me, my nigga? This time I drop all your paperwork. 1090 Jake edition. But um, I don't fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with that. But hey, all is fair in, in power war. Shout out to back on fig. That's where my uh loyalty lie. I'm mean, just <laughs> keep it tall. You know what I mean? All that nobody shit. I'm lying. <laughs> I fuck with dumb. You heard? But um, let's get into uh what Trump actually had to say about the whole um, bankruptcy and all that. You know what I'm saying? I love the fact that HelloFresh always sent me something different that I... Go ahead and hit me, you feel me? And ask like, hey, I'm finna do this. I'm like, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? But... He said Flacco hit him and wanted to do... Of course. <laughs> of course. Flacco. Like, you... Your thighs, nigga. It's some news out there that say T Rail filed bankruptcy. Oh, let me tell y'all. I did. <laughs> like, what the fuck y'all niggas talking about? And I didn't say that shit on at the end of the day. I'm going to just say, like, we know a gang of wealthy people who have filed Chapter 11, bro. Like, let's be honest. So, why are we even trying to act like, oh, this. The nigga got an elevator in his crib. Like, you think that's a bankrupt, nigga? I don't, I'm just saying. I don't know, dog. Multiple times. You feel me? Like, I did. I did. I did. You know what I mean? And I went in there like this, like too. That, you feel me? So, I, what, what are y'all talking about? What's funny is, look, we playing y'all games. He talking about financial literacy. Hey, knowing that, hey, okay, right now is where I'm going to just take this L. That's financial literacy, brother. <laughs> yeah. 
But I could tell y'all the story all over again because that's a blessing in disguise because, like I said, there's a lot of people that didn't see that, which is great. That that means there are a lot more fans. You right. know what mm-hmm. I mean? There are a lot more people that's paying attention. And then you have a lot more oh, hate. Like right. You feel right. me? Comments, which is a great thing, too, because you got to have those. Oh, you feel me? Genesis. And, you know, niggas doing that shit is tight. You know what I mean? Like, I, 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 I love y'all niggas. I love y'all niggas, but I did. <laughs> yeah, nigga, I did. You feel me? Well, let me tell y'all the story, cause I really didn't have to actually do that. You feel me? But you know, uh, you know, you know, helping building a million dollar business. You know what I'm saying? Which was Last Kings. You feel me? I was building that business with the homies or whatever the case may be. Yeah. And, you know, Tyke was the front man or whatever, the, whatever the case may be. But we got sued. You know what I'm saying? And when we got sued, you feel me? When we got sued, we just really couldn't crawl out that hole. You know what I mean? We couldn't crawl out that hole, but we did, like, settle, and it was good. But then, as, you know what I'm saying, him being so big of a a celebrity, once once a motherfucker feel like you fell victim, they all just start coming. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And then once they start coming, they all start suing, and you know we got to reply to it whether or not, because if you don't reply to it, you fall in default. Mm -hmm. And politics look niggas talking financial literacy you trying to be funny this that and the other what he doing right now is teaching niggas some financial literacy pay attention a lot of them motherfuckers i'm like hey nigga fuck adam hey nigga adam fuck you nigga just like that just like that it's like, i ain't replying to that shit but we was like that because we was just inexperienced just not knowledgeable on a bunch of shit no situations at all that have to do with any of that not shit privileged. but <clears throat> we like fuck it you know what i mean we ain't we ain't doing none of that shit but you know what i'm saying as the business just start falling you know declining or whatever the case may be Dude, like we couldn't $10. bitch i thought i You're fucking turned that shit mm-hmm. off we here yeah we here i thought i turned that shit off with this nigga but um uh yeah, you know that should just start declining or whatever the case may be. So we finally like dissolved the company or whatever because we really couldn't fall out the hole or whatever. Everybody went they separate ways, but these niggas that soon step kept like pushing. You feel me? Like kept pushing, kept hit pushing. Hit. But it was only it was they sued the company. They didn't sue me. But what's you know like? What I mean? Let me ask this though, for real. What will be like? I get you uh, responding and everything though, but. Yeah, fuck All right, show. so bankruptcy, like Fifty Bank did it before. It few, like a lot of celebrities Talk have done it before it. and shit, right? I'm not Talk saying y'all celebrities, it. but I'm just saying people it's do people it. People were really, were real chilly. They'll do it, right? Doing shit, yeah. So, because it sounds like, all right, boom, yeah, it got tricky, and it's like a way to wiggle out, it's a way to get out, right? For your company, so that's why you have that company. You could dissolve the company. You can file bank. Uh, you the company didn't file bankruptcy. I did. Mm. So the company just dissolved and everybody just went their separate ways. But the two niggas that was in the company with me had chili. So they didn't give a fuck. You could keep fucking with them all they want. They they lawyers responding all the shit. I'm not. Mm-hmm. So my dumb ass just gets scared. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm just trying to protect me and my family. My family. Personally. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Because it was on a, it was on, it was on a, it was, you know, it was on the company, but I didn't have to do it. I just felt like I, I thought I was taking the me. right moves and moving forward because I was with a rich nigga. You feel me? Yeah. Doing real shit, doing all of the whole little shit. So as we declining and, you know what I'm saying, business is not here, we losing this and losing that. Like, I got to figure out my life in between. You feel me? And that's why I just explained this on, uh, you know what I'm saying, when I was on at the end of the day, it kind of like why I was mad at T-Raw. Yeah. It was more so business. It wasn't mm-hmm. like nothing really personal. It was like, because when I was falling in that rut, I didn't have the help. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, and I felt like yeah, yeah, he could. We're going to stop it right there because I'm pr- he pretty much addressed what it is. And you heard King say, 50 done did it. Trump done did it. These some of the most rich folks we know. You know what I'm saying? So financial literacy is what Champ doing right now, letting people know about his experience and what he went through. And maybe, hey, you might not have to go through this. You know what I'm saying? But the thing about it is, you know, it's the inner, it's the YouTube streets, as Milk would say. But it's like, it's a fine line where the YouTube streets and the internet streets collide. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be in Baby Snap Sally when the YouTube streets and the real streets collide at them. I'm just going to say that. But this your, this your boy Gangland Neem again. Shout out to everybody who um sub too, man. I see I got a gang, of, not a gang of subs, but way more than I had. I had like 11. I think I'm at like 
32 or something like that shout out to everybody subscribing to the content again please like the uh the videos share the videos if you fuck with them comment tell me how uh, i'm annoying put a shirt on whatever you feel me i fucks with it all but it's your boy gangland name peace